I am here today with my Goal Zero Yeti 1000 Core. Some of the things that I love about this charging station that I purchased is there's a little place for storage up here along with two additional outputs. So there's a 12V output here and then there's an input. And then in here you'll find a charging cord. And there's still some more space in here for some more storage. And I'll show you something later that I store in there. It's easy to lift with these handles. It is over 30 pounds. The handles are green and what I meant to show you and I didn't show you is the nice little cutout here where the handles are. So you have plenty of room for your spaces whether your hands are small or big, this is how you turn it on. There's each individual place that you're going to do some charging has its own power. So this is for the electrical outlet, basic one, 1200 watt, 2400 square watt surge. This light turns the screen on and off, the light button, so you can see. This is the USB port and the C port, and this is where the 12 volt is. Then, here's where you get your info. It says hours to empty, and here's the unit. So that shows nine watt. Output shows 7,326 watt per hour. And then to charge it inside your home with a re regular, Electrical outlet is, you just put it here, and then you plug it into an outlet, and then it charges. So, me being a girl, I had to have some accessories, so I'm going to show you the accessories that I purchased. The first one is the Goal Zero Nomad 20 solar panel, and this is the back of it, and here is a kickstand that likes my fingers there we go there's a kickstand right there it opens up as a trifold you can see on the inside it says goal zero nomad 20 and then let's go ahead and check out the back where the cord is there's another usb port and another input port so here's the cord and the storage here is real easy just wraps around so it doesn't get in the way. Here is your USB port and again the other port. Here is the kickstand. I squeeze it in a little and it opens up. As you can see the kickstand stands up and then on each side when you open this up, there's these little slots that you can use for string or bungee cords to tie this down or attach it to something. But the kickstand is right here. I'll show you, it's standing on the table instead of on top of the, there, on top of my Yeti. The best thing here is then you just push the stand back into play, to place and it clicks in. And then you can put the storage cord away. And then I just plug it into that just to keep it from moving around. But see, it's nice and flat and it can even store on top of here. And the best use for this is like if you're going to be out camping you're going to be somewhere where there's no outlets and you need the access to power. So you would probably want to have this as an extra backup. I did just because it's, there's like a power outage and I'm still using my Goal Zero. I have another way to charge it. I have a multiple ways to charge it just besides the electrical outlet. I have my solar and then I have another accessory I'll show you in a little bit. But so this is the Goal Zero. Nomad 20 solar. And so you can see it's not super big. If it's here. So another accessory I have is my carrying case. This is my Goal Zero carrying case for my Yeti 1000. And this is the strap. It has a nice shoulder pad 
strap on it. However, I like to carry it like this with the side handles. You can remove the straps. The bag is great for carrying it, keeping it concealed out of the elements. It's not waterproof, so I wouldn't leave it outside in the rain. But look how, oh, let's check out the inside. So the interior is black, and then there's the side. The other thing that I like about this is the bottoms. The little feet, they're rubber claws so it doesn't move around in the back of the car. So let me show you how nicely my Goal Zero fits. I'm going to move this forward a little. There we go. Okay. Move this forward a little more. There you go. All right, so you see how beautiful that fit in there? Okay, so the other thing that fits nicely inside the storage bag is the solar charging. I'll just take that out really quick. And then there is, as I said earlier, there's a little more storage in here. So this is the last accessory I have. And this is a car charger and has the 5 and 10 amp and you're going to use a 12 volt to charge with this. I would only charge your goal zero if you are actually running your car or driving with this so it doesn't run down your battery depending on the type of battery and the power of your vehicle. It's a universal fit for all the goal zeros, the different versions. So if you have a smaller goal zero or if you have a bigger goal zero, this will fit into them. So this is the Goal Zero regulated lithium car charger. And I use it for my Goal Zero Yeti 1000. I also store it in here with the extra charging cord. It fits nicely in here. And the other thing that's really nice about this right here is if I have this charging into the car, I can plug this here and there's these little slots right here. I don't want to undo that cord, so let's just pretend like this cord is plugged in. And ta-da, it still closes. So it doesn't even have to be exposed, but when you're plugged into your car and you're, you're charging from here, Maybe I will just pull a little bit out. There we go. And this is a thinner cord than that cord. That cord was thicker. So you can see that it fits nicely there like that. All right, so now let's just put this in here so you can see that my little clothes, when I am storing this also in here with a cord, Nice and flat. Okay, and so then we have the solar and all my accessories fit nicely in my Goal Zero carrying case. And it comes this in this color only, black and gray. And the only thing, as I break it, that does not fit in there is this. I can make it, but it doesn't really fit very well. So I'll show you what I mean by making it. I can wrap this cord up and I can put it in the little slots in between the green handles for the space. Okay, so that's there. And then we have this. So it doesn't really fit in here at all. But if I close the carrying case, I can still buckle it. It just leaves a little gap right there. So all of really, I, I made it work. <laughs> but truly, for it to close nicely, this main charging cord wouldn't be in here. And honestly, you don't need to have two charging cords that can charge your Goal Zero at once. 
So this is the perfect thing. You can always just leave this one at home. Another thing about this, even though it plugs in three-way here, have it upside down. The it can also, and I'm sure somebody else has already thought of this, can also double as a small extension cord if you needed to extend power to something. And the other cord for the other charger like this that is already in my goal zero also does the same. So why do I why did I buy this goal zero? You might be wondering. Well, I am a mobile notary and I have a mobile office. I need the power just so that when I get a call from a signing service, I can actually print my docs. My docs can be anywhere from 150 pages to 200, sometimes even 40 pages, depending on whether it's a seller's or buyer's package. But my printer is a Brother 6200. My scanner is an Epson 580. And then my MacBook. I have power for all those things to get my job done. So with my Yeti Goal Zero, it powers my mobile office. So I can plug in my scanner, I can plug in my printer, and I can print and scan my docs that I need to send back to the signing service, title company, escrow, whatever. And I don't have to have like an external battery and a converter. I think that's what that extra little thing is, like a power converter. It's all in here and this is amazing. So I love that it gives me the ability to do my job and not have to worry about a power source because even if I forget to charge it, I have my accessories. I have my solar charge and I have my car charge charger. So this is my Goal Zero Yeti 1000 and my accessories and it's my work bestie. Not only does my goal zero double as my work bestie, but if I found myself in a situation in a power outage, or say I just went on a road trip in my car, I have a RAV4 and I just wanted to camp in it for the night, I could totally have power. So whether or not you use it for a mobile office or for fun or for emergencies, this is a reliable trusty friend to have.